it's time for us to enter the drone zone. And you say, why would you go into the drone zone? We're not talking about the big predator drones and all that stuff. We're talking about the smaller drones that you can buy at your, uh, your local store, uh, the smaller things that the police use. And we're going to talk about why this, these are important issues. Let's go to this. Drone spies on sunbathing woman. Looks through apartment windows, then falls out of the sky. This was a situation where a young man, I believe he actually built this drone customly. Uh, he built it for a uh, school project, I believe. And he was flying his drone around, and I guess it just got too far out of range, was hovering over the interstate, and fell down into a tree. The local uh, news station claims that they found this thing in a tree, retrieved the footage, and tracked the guy down. And, you know, the headline says, Drone Spies on Sunbathing Woman, which is technically, technically true. But I would like to say the uh, sunbathing woman is just a small part of a much larger video, so I don't think this guy was some type of weirdo spying on this lady. He was just flying his drone around. But there are some weirdos out there, and we have this next article. Seattle man hovers drone over family's house for research. Now, this is, now I'll say this guy's a, a weirdo. He's uh, flying his drone up against a window, and the people in the house come out and say, hey, man, what are, you, what are you doing out here? He's like, oh, I'm just doing a little research. And I, I'm surprised the guy didn't get punched in the face. But uh, so he's, he's doing his research. The family goes in the house, calls the cops. The, you know, the guy's gone by uh, the time authorities can get there. But just a very weird thing. And if we can scroll down, we had a quote from the, from the wife. Uh, We're extremely concerned, as he could easily be a criminal who plans to break into our house or a peeping Tom. So that's the, the words of the woman, and she's very, uh, very accurate in her statement. She doesn't know who this guy is. He just showed up one day, was looking into their home, and uh, disappeared. What his research was, I don't know, but he seems a little, little weird to me. Now let's move on to this. We went from uh, just your normal, everyday people using the small drones. Let's go on to police using drones. St. Louis police chief wants drones to patrol high crime areas. And, you know, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, he wants to have these things, these UAVs, as he prefers to call them, by next summer. Now, I definitely understand uh, drones do have a practical, practical aspect. They can be used for search and rescue missions. Some of your larger drones can be used to combat forest fires. I understand things like that. But, you know, it's going to be a situation where the police, in my opinion, and I don't think I'm too uh, far stretched in saying this, will more than likely just end up spying on people, uh, looking in people's cars, looking in people's windows, uh, preemptive, you know, without any uh, particular search warrant, you know, a, uh, a document saying what and who needs to be searched. They're just going to do this indiscriminately. Now, right now, St. Louis is saying that they are going to use these drones just for surveillance purposes. But let's take a look at our next article. Police set to use armed drones against Americans. Now, this is another police agency, or I guess this is the sheriff. This is in Montgomery County. Now, if we can go down, it says, as we reported on last year, if we can just scroll down just a little bit, yeah, I see it right there. As we reported on last year, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office initially claimed the drone would be used for surveillance only. But if you go back up to the second paragraph, CBS DC reports that the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office in Texas said it is considering using rubber bullets and tear gas on its drones. So let's keep this in mind. These people went from one year saying, we're just going to use these for surveillance, much like the people in St. Louis. But a year later, they come back and say, well, you know, we, we have these things for surveillance and nobody made a real big deal about it, so why don't we arm these things? And you say, well, it's, it, they armed it with rubber bullets and, uh, and pepper spray or tear gas or whatever. And yes, that's true, but uh, you can still injure and possibly kill somebody with a rubber bullet. And, you know, there's a lot of uh, liberalism about using chemical agents, pepper sprays, tear gases, and so forth, because they're viewed as non-lethal. And by and large, they are. But let's say you uh, just so happen to encounter an innocent asthmatic who is in the middle of an attack, so you have this person who can't breathe regularly on their own anyway, and then you introduce these chemical agents via your drones, and not just drones, officers do this all the time, and I don't like that either. But you introduce these chemical agents, and now these people are hacking, they're coughing, they can't breathe, and they don't even know why they're being spied on because these people are using their drones indiscriminately. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show.